Welcome, enthusiasts, to another installment of the best of salty language. In this episode, we discover that Brian has developed a mutant power involving, of all things, Christmas trees. If you'd like to hear the full episode, make sure you go to saltylanguage.com, click the past episodes button, and look it up. This is from number 124, titled, Mutants! With an exclamation point. So here you go, enjoy the best of salty language. So how about you spin kicking your tree? How's that going? Yeah, right? I get up today, the Christmas tree's just t- tilted over. and uh, Can you blame this on your indoor cougar? <sighs> I'm not sure. I don't think so, because she's never been bad about messing with cr- with, with uh, trees. But right. I don't know, maybe she found out Santa's not real finally. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Fuck it! it over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Christmas, we're not having it anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez, I hate Christmas and knocks it over. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but there's fucking ornaments all over the place. There's at least, it, so far I've noticed that two are broken. Right. Yeah. You know, there was one of them was like just a giant bulb one and cheap as hell, and it hit the floor and sat all over the place. I just don't know how you didn't have the willpower just not to pick the tree up and throw it right out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have, to keep in, you have to keep in mind that includes me picking up the tree, opening the door, throwing. All right, fair enough. <laughs> it's easier to just sit here and look at it. Mentally throw it out the door. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You mean with, like, telekinesis? Yeah, mind powers. Nice. Yeah. I like this idea. How great would that be? You find out your your mutant powers. You could throw Christmas trees <laughs> in your mind. That's it. But only Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be fully decorated, or no? Yes. Even yeah. better. You just go into people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> the tree just goes flying. Just flies across the room. <laughs> you walk into somebody's house, and you're like, "I'm going to show them." You walk in, and then you're like, "Oh, they're Jewish." <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you win this time. <laughs> It doesn't work on pine trees. Right. Well, now, what if it's Lester's a pine tree? decoration. Okay. Right? <laughs> I was going to say, now, what if I decorate a pine tree? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a battle. I'm hanging fucking Hallmark ornaments just so I can wing trees. <laughs> it's like Gambit running out of uh, cards or something, just looking around for anything, you know? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, uh, I always to carry... To the Hallmark store. <laughs> yeah. I'm always carrying, like, paper clips with me just in case. <laughs> Paper clips and scissors so I can cut out some snowflakes real quick and hang them on the tree. Hang on the tree real quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> Boy, that would be an awful superpower. <laughs> I don't know. It would be kind of cool when it works, though. It would be awesome at Christmas time. but Yeah, like you go into a, a, a store where they have all the pre-decorated trees. Right. You're like, yeah, that's like a, you know... Or you go to, like, Frankenmuth. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Christmas like time Christmas. in Michigan. I like this idea. Yeah. Yeah. There's a 24 hour Christmas store up in Dundee, too. You can go there. Think of what or I could do. Or not 24 hour, uh, 365 day, oh. you know, yeah, 24 hour. If it was open all, yeah, that'd be retarded. It's just one day, all yeah, day. Yeah, one day. It's open 24 hours. You they never tell you which day, though. No. <laughs> like, son of a bitch, I missed it again. Like, how great could, or what, think of the things I could do with, like, the national Christmas tree. You know, the big one that they light every year. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah. I could, like, wipe a country up. No, not really. Unless <laughs> I could control the pine needles, then maybe. That'd be fun, too. Probably not, though. No, I'd probably I don't not. think the power would be that cool. No. Maybe it's anything. Christmas trees for all I've got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time I throw one, someone's like, who's cleaning that up? Like, really? like, I, I can't control that. And they're like, well, you can control this. I mean, a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Garbage bag. Yeah. No, I'll clean like, it up. <laughs> I have to go fight. No. <laughs> 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 when I'm done sobbing, I'm just bro- or I'm doing it as I'm crying <laughs> from being yelled at. <laughs> I didn't some- want to be bored like this. <laughs> 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 I'm going to Genosha. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, seek <laughs> seek out Magneto, and he's like, "We've got no use for you here." Like, yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> we we don't believe in Christmas. To us, you're just nobody. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, once once Charles gets Christmas tree man, we might call you, but till then... <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> There's a fucking X-Men named Christmas tree man, and I am to him what Magneto is to Wolverine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I get, like, peels. 
<laughs> peeling them apart. Just throw them across well, the room. I, I guess Wolverine's not a good example. A better example would be Colossus. Yeah. Because his skin is... Metal. 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 Oh, this is just ridiculous. See what happens when Tate isn't here to keep raining our geek stuff? Well, you know, we're, we go off-roading into the ditch and off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> then we get it back on the road. Another ditch. <laughs> another ditch. Another on cliff. Another cliff. Yeah. We're on a really high thing with a lot of ditches and cliffs. Yeah, and exactly. we just kind of keep falling. It's like Homer. <laughs> we yeah. tried to, to jump over the canyon on the yeah. skateboard. Yeah. And also, just when you think we're done, there's more. <laughs> there's <laughs> more. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> so, yeah, there's... The tree all over. And it's pretty exciting. Seems kind of symbolic in a way, though. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Not everyone's yeah. going to get that, but there yeah. it is. I hear you, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, Merry, Merry Xmas. Merry Xmas. <laughs> X-Men. Christmas ah. tree, man. <laughs> mm. Well, if, yeah. if that is Xmas tree, man, over there. I win round one. Well, round one goes to you. Yeah, because his shit's all over the floor, and I'm still alive. There you go. Yeah, like a Pearl Jam song. Ah, oh, shit. Well, how's your week besides finding out you have tree powers? <laughs> Can it get any better than that? I mean, <laughs> uh, probably not. Yeah, yeah, it could. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things, Christmas trees. Although it does seem appropriate. I really dislike Christmas trees. I don't want anything to do with them. So and that's probably yeah. where it manifests itself. There you go. Somehow it, my power is bonded with my hatred. <laughs> I think that's how poltergeists are made. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Figures, though, because like, of all the things I have hatred for, it had to pick, you know, Christmas trees. Couldn't have picked, like, orphans or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It's true. Winging orphans around. Or raccoons, <laughs> oh. as we discussed before. When yeah. I talked about firing raccoons through uh, drywall. Through drywall. Mm -hmm. It's the only way to do it. I kind of wish I had the power to fling raccoons around. Be kinda, that'd be a lot more fun. That would be. Oh, they're kind of elusive, though. I'd have to find raccoons. Although you definitely couldn't go by Coon Man. I seriously no. frown on that. No. no. Probably a bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, well, not to mention, I mean, you know, the, on South Park, they had the coon, so. Oh, that's true. I, I don't want to get too that. close to that either. You know, yeah. I don't want to get sued. Yeah. Comedy Central and Viacom all over me. <laughs> Damn it. I don't have the money to fight that kind of lawyering, unless I had a lot of raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> just just leave some chips out. You'll be fine. They'll come to you. Good point. Good point. Or Homeless people. <laughs> or homeless people, yeah. It's like, sorry, guys, my power, I don't have the power to wing homeless people around yet. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> Probably not. Thanks for listening. You can find us on iTunes and on Stitcher. Just search Salty Language. Follow us on Twitter at Salty underscore language. Go to SaltyLanguage.com to find anything else related to us. Make sure you check out PodGodsNetwork.com, MusingsOfAGeek.com, and GeekLifeRadio.com, all places you can find the Salty Language Show. Thanks again.